Hello everybody, welcome. Welcome back to Town Hall 7. Let's play episode number 4. Last episode, we did some research projects and actually got the, uh, the giant to level uh, 4. And uh, this episode, guys, we want to start another project in the laboratory. But first, I have a few things I need to get up to. I have a couple of barracks. Actually, how many barracks do I have? I have uh, four. Wow. I have four barracks. I didn't even realize I had four. Uh, Tunnel 7 finally gets the fourth barrack, and it is amazing. But I need to get these barracks. Well, this one needs to go to level 7, of course. But these barracks need to go to level 9 because I need to unlock the dragon. So that is going to be a focus in this video. But another focus we need to have, obviously, besides the clan castle, is possibly upgrading the spell factory because we need to unlock the rage spell. Now, the problem with all of these things is that they're all elixir based. We got 800,000 800, elixir there. We've got, uh, well, not that one. We got 1.5 million elixir there. And of course, whatever's in the laboratory will be elixir as well. So we get a lot of, we get a lot of elixir to spend. And also I've got all of my storages upgraded to level 11, except for this gold storage, which is 500,000 elixir. So it's going to be a lot of elixir we need to spend. And we got a little bit of gold to spend too, probably on walls. So the first thing I want to do is I want to go in for a live raid. Do I have enough? No, I do not. Let me uh, let me boost my barracks right quick. And uh, also I'm going to boost my spell factory just because the uh, the heal spells are very helpful. And um, once these are ready, guys, we're going to go in and we're going to do some raids. OK, guys, this is the uh, this is the base on 102 attack because of all that elixir look at that elixir that is so nice and we need a lot so that's uh that's exactly what we need we need lots of elixir and what's cool about this army composition this is my gigabarch army you saw it last video i believe you've seen it in all my town hall 9 videos gigabarch is designed to get into the base so we're going to use our giants and we're going to come in on this bottom uh compartment and on the left side so let's drop the uh, giants kind of right here in this nook and also over here on the left side right here we'll have two groups of eight and then I've also got clan castle giants so I'm going to go ahead and drop them over here on the right side they're max so they'll be fine and I will drop my uh, barbarians mostly on the right side to deal with the king because the giants will just stand there and die against the king and then we'll drop our wall breakers on one side and then the other and then the other and then uh, if we need the other two for a group. No, it looks like we got into all the bases or all the wall compartments. So that'll be good there. So what do we need to do? We need to protect the group that's on the well in the middle and on the left are actually highest priority, both of them. So let's go ahead and heal that group on the left because of that wizard tower. And then we're going to release our uh, goblins in just a second as soon as we break into the middle compartment. Because what the goblins are going to do is they're going to get into the center. They're going to wreck on the elixir and they're going to wreck on the town hall. Uh, the problem with that plan <laughs> at this point is that wizard tower. The wizard tower on the left is going to wreck us, unfortunately. So let me go ahead and just release my goblins right there. They're going to split off, which is good. That's what we wanted. And they're going to work on the town hall and on the elixir storage. So look at that. Watch how quickly they melt through that elixir storage. And a good thing is that the uh, the wizard tower was busy on the giants. Now let's see if we could take up this town hall, guys. Come on. Come on. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, okay. All of our goblins are gone. But looks like Level up, 55, boom, <laughs> sweet, awesome. So we were able to get in there and get pretty much all the elixir, and we were also able to get the town hall. So that is the beauty of the Gigabarch army. 270,000 elixir, that is what we came for. That is how we roll. Let's get out of here. Cool, so we've got 1,698,000 elixir. Looks like I gained a... Uh, a new league badge, so now I'm in Silver League 1, which is wonderful. Now we need to continue training up our armies, and we need to... Uh, we need to go and do some more raids because I need I definitely need a lot more elixir. So y'all just stand by. I'll be back in a second. OK, guys, first search. And it looks like I ran into another base that we can take on. All the elixir is down here in the storages and also in the collectors and mines, which are on the bottom and on the right and left. So we're, we're doing good. We're doing great. I've got some uh, clan castle giants that I actually donated to myself because my clan mates were being awfully lazy and the cool thing is that the uh the wizard towers aren't really anywhere near these storages so let's uh let's release the giants in the two compartments on the bottom left and the bottom right and immediately drop our uh, barbarians and archers to deal with the king so let's go uh giants there barbarians 
dealing or helping deal with that barbarian king archers as well but we'll spread the archers out a little bit more just to deal with that uh wall breakers in and uh let's do clan castle giants but i'm not exactly sure where let's let's do them on the left oh though yeah uh just so that in case they get in range of the wizard tower will be okay and uh now that that has been released Let's uh, let's see where we're going to be needing our heal spell or our goblins. That is the next big question to ask ourselves is uh, goblins and also heal spell. Looks like we're going to get all of that elixir on the uh, or in the storage there. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to release them the uh, few goblins to see if we can get in and take out the town hall. Uh, I don't know where these guys are going to go. Okay, they're going to actually split up. That's perfect. So we'll we'll go ahead and release goblins on the left and on the right. They're going to work on the uh, collectors on the right side and also on that town hall. This is what I'd like to see. I'd like to see the town hall drop, the Kalan Castle drop, and also that dark elixir storage. Though there's probably not a lot in that dark elixir storage. Look at these goblins. They are troopers. They're going to go up there. They're not going to get anything out of that upgrading gold mine, but they're going to go and just be beasts and that's what i like to see so it looks like we got pretty much all that elixir that is good stuff that is great stuff and of course that mortar is going to ruin our day we're not going to get a lot of dark elixir anyway but it was just cool to see our troops get all the way into the base a lot of the guy a lot of the time you'll see town hall sevens barching barbarians and archers and to be honest with you guys that is a great army composition for getting gold and elixir problem is you don't see a lot of dead bases to where you can use that army composition. Um, it, it doesn't get into the base. That's why I like using this army composition. Because we can get into the base. We can destroy some people. And get their their storages. That's the whole point. So 209,000 elixir without our attack. We have time for one more attack. And then we're going to have to do what we can. With the loot that we've got. So see y'all in just a second. Alright guys here we go. We're going to attack Hero. And he's got 275,000 elixir in his base. So here's what we want to do. We want to break into this base. I'm not sure which direction. Probably from the the right, honestly, because uh, if we can get that wizard tower taken out as quickly as possible, that would be nice. And and it looks like this is a dead base. I mean, he's got no clan. So uh, I think we can do pretty well on this base. So I'm going to go ahead and release these giants. Uh, one group coming at this wizard tower and one group coming at the cannon above it. So uh, that's and I have no clan castle troops. So we get to wipe out this uh, wizard tower as quickly as we can. So let's go ahead and drop the uh, giants now, followed by the barbarians coming around like a like a big funnel here but we need to mainly focus the archers on the wizard tower uh so let's break them in let's do a a, a wall breaker into that corner compartment there there we go and let's see if we can wall breaker into that uh into that middle compartment too because what i'm going to do is i'm going to send my goblins into that center compartment as soon as i can uh, yep, there we go. So the uh, goblins are going to go in. I'm not going to release them all. I'm going to keep 10 back just in case I need them. And we're going to see how we can do, guys. So farming as a Tunnel 7 is actually a lot of fun. I've been really enjoying myself while I'm doing this series. Um, I don't really farm a lot outside of filming. So uh, that's why a lot, not a lot of progress is made between videos. But that's good for you guys. You guys, you all get to see the entire process. And that's what I like the most about this uh this whole series. So it looks like we're going to struggle to get the rest of the elixir. So I'm going to go ahead and release my goblins on wait. There are probably Teslas near this town hall seven. How much do you want to bet? No, there's no Teslas. Okay, well, let's go ahead and release our goblins. They're not going to be able to take out the town hall, but that's the best way I, I can see to use them. I guess I could have used them to get some more collectors and mines on the other side of the base, but, uh, that is just the name of the game, guys. We we can only focus on really one thing at a time with this army composition. And notice I didn't use any uh, any heal spells. So it looks like we're going to lose this attack 49%, but we locked on to 661 Dark Elixir, which is pretty good, and 159,000 Elixir. So let's go back to base and see what we've got going on. Okay, so uh, clear that message there. I don't like notifications. The notifications drive me nuts. I don't know if y'all are the same or not. Let me go ahead and request for clan castle troops. I may have to donate to myself. Uh, so we got about 2 million, almost 2 million elixir. So let's uh, let's go in. Let's collect this 100,000 that I had from earlier. So that's 200, or 2 million elixir, and I need technically 2,250,000 elixir so that I can do a 750,000 elixir lab upgrade and so that I can start a barrack two level 
uh, nine. So, uh, gosh, this is going to be a little bit longer of a video, guys, but we're going to go in and we're going to do one more raid. We're going to get that elixir and then we're going to come back and do some work. Wow, this would be nice to attack. <laughs> uh, Town Hall 8 base with 300,000 golden elixir. That's pretty awesome. But guess what? This base would poop on us. It would destroy us into the ground and we would cry all the way down. So <laughs> unfortunately, we have to pass up this base. But I just wanted to show you all because look at that. That is beautiful, man. All right, I'm out. Okay, here is a Town Hall 7 dead base with 243,000 elixir. Now, based upon my experience with this type of base, with those level wizard towers, there's a there's a very, very, very small chance we'll be able to get all this elixir. But, as long as we get some of it, I'll be happy. So, let's, uh, first of all, let's check for Clan Castle troops. Nothing. Awesome. Okay, so... Uh, and just for the record, in case you don't know how, just drop a barbarian or whatever near the Kalan castle. And if anything's in there, they'll come out and then you can deal with it. But, um, okay, so here's what I want to do. I actually want to drop my giant spread out on the left and on the right to combat the wizard tower. And that'll also draw all the attention to the middle so that I can drop my goblins on the outside and get all that loot on the outside. Uh, so we'll drop, uh, I'm going to do my clan castle giants on the left and then my regular giants on the right. And then on the left, we're going to wall breaker in, we're going to heal spell one group and then, oh no, I didn't realize these were here. Okay. Well, uh, let's support this group on the right or on the left side. Then, uh, I didn't realize that that was going to happen. So this is all. This is what Clash is all about, guys. You're always adjusting your your plans and uh, doing your best with what you've got. So let's go ahead and heal that group of giants there, and then we will drop some goblins on the left. And let me keep some giant some goblins on the right, just to well, some goblins for the right in case I need them. So we'll go ahead and drop those goblins on the right side. And uh, now the main focus is going to be getting that elixir and that storage, and also the town hall. So. If, oh no, okay, that spring trap really ruined it for us. But we got another group of giants coming in with the max giants from the clan castle. Take them out, guys. Do it. Do that work. Awesome. Okay, now the big problem is going to be the mortar. So if we can get in there and take that mortar out, we'll be in good shape. Let me uh, take out that storage with those goblins there. And uh, looks like we're going to three-star this base, guys. That was unexpected. I, uh... <laughs> I can't believe we three-starred this base. That is amazing. I, I guess it was a lower level than I expected. Uh, but there you go. So <laughs> 237,000 gold, 243,000 elixir. That was pretty awesome. So let's go back to base and let's spend all this delicious loot. All right, let's collect. Yes, all right. So as you can tell, guys, just in case you missed it, all these are now level 11 except for this baby who is going to be there in a day and a half or so. And I need to upgrade this gold storage, but right now my elixir is spoken for. So let's go into the laboratory and let's start the... What do you think, guys? What do you think is most important? Of course, no dark troops right now. Let's do the archer. I mean, we use them all the time. And they're amazing. Actually, let's see. Plus four damage per second for that one. Plus, ooh, plus five for the goblin. And resources is times two. So that's actually plus ten on resource buildings. Let's do the goblin, guys. This was unexpected, but we've got enough elixir. It's only a 3D upgrade. So let's do that in three, two, one. Bam. Awesome. All right. So goblins going to level four in three days. That's, that's actually a really beneficial upgrade, guys. So now here's what we need to do. We need to start a barrack, a single barrack to level nine. The reason for this is because we need these dragons. We need to build a war. We need to be able to, to use the dragons in whatever way we see necessary. So let's go ahead and let's spend all of our elixir in three, two, one. No, wait, it's going to end my boost, right? Yeah. Okay. Ready? In three, two, one. Bam. Awesome. Okay. So uh, that barrack is completely is going i mean we got four days until we've got giants and that is awesome news now the last thing i want to do well the second to last thing i want to do is i want to go into defenses and i want to start this final tesla and it's actually wow it's automatically oriented to where i want it that's awesome so this last tesla is 1 million gold which is going to leave us with 500,000 gold to spend so let's go ahead and start that in three two one bam Awesome. So we got one day until that hidden Tesla is done and ready to roll. And that'll that's good. That'll increase the uh, DPS of this area by 34 
that's very, very useful. That's very beneficial. So let's go into our progress base right quick. Uh, what What is happening? Oh, the uh, it, <laughs> it wanted to uh, for me to set my Tesla down. So let me go ahead and just save that. Edit that. Not edit. Set as active. There we go. Now let's uh, let's look at walls. I don't know how many I can do. It's 30,000 gold each. So that means I'll be able to do like, what, 15 or so? Uh, so let's see. What is this going to cost me? Select 360,000. Oh, I can do... Can I do them all? Can I do them all? Nope, I can't. Okay, so how about this mini? I'm going to spend all my gold right here, right now, just for you guys. Just for you guys. Awesome. 570,000 gold. That's going to leave me with 4,000 gold left over. Are you guys ready? Of course you're ready. In three, two, one. Bam. Oh, bam. There we go, guys. That is a lot of walls we just did. Almost all of them are level five. And don't you worry, I'll be getting them to level seven as soon as possible. So it's going to take quite some time to do that. Let me go ahead and request just because I can. All right, let's jump into our regular base and call it a day, guys. Today was really good. Very beneficial day. I've got one builder left over to be able to spend my spare gold on uh, walls and such. But I do need to get on to upgrading all these defenses as well. We got a lot of work to do, and it's going to be awesome. Also, next video, we definitely need to be focusing on Dark Elixir because I need to put my Barbarian King down. This is not meant to be this way. Uh, I've got a... I've got a... Oh, he's not a defense. He's an army. Uh, we got Barbarian King to still upgrade or put down. And also, we still have a Dark Elixir drill we need to put down. So uh, lots of work yet to be done on this base. Thank you for tuning in and like the video if you liked it. Subscribe if you haven't done that already. Join the class family. It is growing crazier, bigger, and, uh, and, and better each and every day. So I love each and every one of y'all. Thank you for tuning in and be sure and look forward to episode number five coming to you live in seven days on Tuesday. These episodes go live on Tuesday every single week. Love you guys. See y'all next time. Peace.